There is a saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. But here in this Sacramento studio, they believe a painting is worth a thousand miracles. I know that painting for miracles is where you go and you paint a picture. You can paint for free, like do anything you want to do like I did, or you could get a story. Aspiring painter Megan Tripp was born with a rare childhood illness called Vatter's Syndrome. Before her first day in the world was over, she'd racked up two million dollars in medical bills. Luckily, she was born in Sacramento, where the folks at the UC Davis Children's Hospital went to work doing what they do best. They saved Megan's life. You know, having been at the hospital, having walking through the, the uh, intensive care unit or the OR or the neonatal, you know, care center, you can't help but think, what can I do to do one little thing, something? That's why Tom, Megan, and 50 other painters from the Sacramento area have come to the Zap Creative Group studio for a weekend to create art while raising money for sick and injured kids in Northern California. It's called Painting for Miracles, the brainchild of Zap founder Julie Knudsen and her husband Creighton. I have many friends that are in the graphic design world. We're all stuck on the computers on a daily basis. I thought to myself, you know, we should really get together and paint. I mean, first it was just painting, but then it was, how do we get the creative community involved in giving back? I talked about it all year to anybody that will listen. Painting for Miracles works like this. Each year, the Children's Miracle Network chooses 50 champions. These are kids from around the country facing daunting medical issues. Julie assigns the powerful story of a champion to a local painter. I'm painting for a kid who, um, when he was 12 years old, he was going down a hill on a bike and uh, crashed into a, um, a mailbox and fractured his skull. This kid, he's 17 and was born with a hole in his heart. It is a story about a mom and a daughter. She was going to go pick up her son from soccer practice, and they didn't make it. They were hit by a truck. On Paint Weekend, each individual story is translated into a work of art. Eventually, the paintings will be sold at an auction. Each and every dollar raised during that sale will stay right here in Sacramento at the Children's Hospital. For many of these volunteer artists, painting for miracles is personal. I mean, I have, you know, a nine-year-old daughter and I could never imagine what it would be like to be in some of the situation as these families and it gives her a great understanding to, to give back and to know that there's other people out there that need help. Lacey Taylor understands how other people might need help. Her sister was born with a congenital heart defect. They didn't expect to take her home from the hospital, but um, she's 24 now, and she's been going to UC Davis since the day she was born. You know, they've really done great things for her, so it's my opportunity to give back to them. Like all other artists here, Kyle Moreno only has three days to complete his painting, but somehow the limits on time don't limit the creative spirit. It kind of gives you a sense of pride, and you'll feel more pride in that three days than you do in that piece that you did a work on for three years. It's about 7 o'clock right now. I want to invite everybody to head over, start bidding on the pictures. A few weeks after the paint's been put away, the doors at Zap Creative are opened yet again to an evening of food, music, and most importantly, to auction off the art. Local businesses are invited to donate products and services for a silent auction as well. The money raised through Painting for Miracles will benefit kids and their families who receive care at UC Davis Children's Hospital. Tonight is really about bringing hope to children, and it's about a community coming together. There's another powerful story that's emerged through Painting for Miracles, that of one couple with one idea, who are painting a healthier future for the children in this community. You have to give back in order to get it back. You know, you gotta do good to get good back. You know, and that's something I was always taught as well, so it comes back tenfold. 
is that everybody took care of their communities in a larger scale, we'd be in pretty good shape.